Morning everyone, it's Mrs Jackson here. Today we're just going to talk about routine and health. So I know it's um, difficult while we're all at home trying to keep in our routine and staying healthy, but it's really important we try our best to do so. The first thing we're going to look at is sleep and rest. I'm sure most of you are getting plenty of sleep, but what I want you to think about is what you would do if you were in school. So I want you to try and get up in the morning, have, have a wash, get dressed, have some breakfast before we start our lessons. Give ourselves plenty of time to prepare. Try and keep our lessons to 50 minutes, again, like we would if we were in school. Make sure you have breaks and lunchtime at a similar time. And if you can, try to go to bed at a reasonable time at night. Now, I know it's difficult to sometimes settle and we're on our phones and iPads, but try to turn them off maybe an hour before we go to sleep. The next thing I'm going to talk about is exercise. Now, exercise is really good for us. It releases endorphins that make us feel good. It can also help us if we're feeling a little bit stressed. Exercise can be anything from walking, running, cycling, yoga, or there's plenty of online classes that we can follow. Taking exercise also helps us to stay focused. While you're at home, you've got plenty of time, try some different things and see what you enjoy doing. Nutrition. Now, I know when we're at home, it's tempting to snack and on things that might not be healthy for us. If you look at my diagram at the bottom, you can see all the bright colours and these foods we know are all good for us. Make sure you drink plenty of water. Try and keep some healthy snacks handy, such as fruit, nut, yoghurt or cereal bars. Also try to eat foods from all the major food groups. I know you've done that in science, so you know what they are. Socialising. Now, I know we're all pretty good at this one. Although it's difficult to socialise with friends because you can't see them in person, you can stay in touch. You can help each other out by sharing your thoughts and feelings because everyone finds lockdown difficult and that's okay. Try to remain positive with each other and encourage each other and you will get through it. Family time. It's a great time to try some different things with your family, such as board games, going for walks, and you can also talk to them as well. Parents are good listeners or curers, and you can tell them how you're feeling as well. You could also try learning some new skills, such as cooking. Finally, we're going to look at being kind to each other. If you're finding it difficult, it's likely that some of your friends are also. It's perfectly normal to feel anxious or worried. And if you need to speak to someone, talk to an adult that you trust. Finally, I've put on some links where you can get some support. The first one is about social media. If you're feeling that people are being unkind on social media or you need some help with that, you can text that number and you will get some advice on that. The other links are mainly for some physical activities. We've got some yoga in there, some dance um, sing-alongs for Disney, which I know you'll all enjoy. So have a look at them if you have time. And if anyone needs me, you can always give me a call. Thanks, everyone.